As an anime fan, you know that we get more than a dozen animes per season. And for most people, that's a lot of content to watch when most of it could be, you know? But besides shows that have already proven that they're going to be good, there are some new ones that are going to be great. And that's what I want to talk about. The Dark Horse for Summer Season 2023. Now you've seen the thumbnail, you know what we're going to talk about. But if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it very much. Now let's talk about the anime you should be watching, Zone 100. Zone 100 is an anime that can hit home for a lot of people, and that's very unfortunate. This new anime that is now airing on Netflix is a show about a young boy named Akira. Akira is a new employee in this amazing thing called the workforce. And of course, when you start your first job, you're gonna be like, gee willikers, this is amazing. However, where it hits home for a lot of people, it's not that great. You see, Akira quickly realizes that he goes through the same motions working every single day of his life. Matter of fact, for his first week of work, he's already already had to stay overnight to work more. The unfortunate part is this was a shocker to Akira. Honestly, it's a shocker for everyone that's wet behind the ears. Akira does his best to try to stay positive and confident, but it's very difficult. But there is one thing that did keep him going through every single day, and that's the nice coworker he has named Otari. Otari, however you say her name, she was very kind to him, including bringing him lunch when he worked over his break. It's just a great feeling to have, even though it's wrong to have a relationship with somebody at your job. But again, Akira really doesn't mind because it's his first time and he doesn't mind shooting his shot. It sucks for him that someone else is shooting their shot first. Mm -hmm. You already know that Akira's boss has her pinned against the wall in his office. So now not only you're getting overworked at your job, your boss is over there banging the girl that you want to be with. The worst part is she's just a side chick. She isn't even married or his girlfriend. So you can clearly understand as a reader why it would break your heart. But this is not the first time you've seen someone use their power to take advantage of someone else. Zamora was arrested and charged with eight counts of sexual misconduct with a minor, two counts of child molestation, and one count of transmitting obscene material. Oof. Luckily, our protagonist Akira has his dream come true. While he forgets he forgot to pay one of his bills, a movie comes to life. He witnesses a zombie apocalypse happening in his apartment location. While he is a fan of zombie movies, you never really expect it to happen in real life. But this is the chance that Akira can get his big break. Because of this apocalypse, he doesn't have to go to work anymore. Now this is the part of the show that makes it more exciting than him just going to work every single day. And luckily the show cuts that out pretty quickly. And when it comes to the zombies themselves, they do a pretty good job making it entertaining. I mean, they're like every other zombie that you'll see, but they decide to color the blood these random splashes of paint everywhere make it look like it's a paintball scene. But because Netflix is probably trying to be T for teen, I have absolutely no clue why, the random colors of blood makes it a little bit more appealing and lighthearted. But don't get fooled, you can still get took. And speaking of took, Akira decides it's his best chance to quit his job. But he first decides to go confess his love before he does so. It just so happens he gets to kill two birds with one stone. While on his way to go see his crush, he also sees his boss inside of her apartment. And again, that's probably not the only thing he was inside. It's really difficult to have this happen to you, but it's better off because he doesn't have to have anything holding him back. After giving his old boss the E Honda special, he decides to never see his crush again. And honestly, that's for the better because life moves on. <clears throat> for some people, not, not everyone. Now, because we're in the early episodes of this anime, I don't want to go too far into what you're going to see. Within the second episode, you'll meet the character Mikazuki, who is the second protagonist of the show. She is a bit more realistic and believes in survival compared to our main protagonist. So much, in fact, she'll plan everything out accordingly, including having a truck run into the convenience store just in time to save you and the other protag. Now, I don't know what type of unspoken risk she has to see into the future, but she can do that. And of course, we'll have several other other characters showing up in the near future. But I do digress because Zoom 100 is the pick for you in this season. This is your dark horse and if you're a fan of light comedy with a little bit of sentimental stuff in there, pick it. Now if you are watching Zoom 100, please tell me what you think about the anime in the comments down below. And also tell me what else you're watching this season. I went through a lot of shows and there's a lot of trash in this bin. But maybe I threw away a diamond by accident, so you let me know. And finally, if you want to know what to watch next, I have a Jujutsu Kaisen video for you over here. Thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Take care.